Welcome to the new channel of called Unfinished Objects. Um, of, several of my friends slash minions and I have had several conversations about how our unfinished objects pile has grown out of control. And it occurred to me that if I started a YouTube channel devoted to unfinished objects, then I might actually finish some unfinished objects. Now, if this will help you, that's even better, right? We'll have unfinished objects finishing together. My goal is to um, put up a video twice a week like I do on my our other channel, twistedpico.com, but this one will be devoted to whatever unfinished object I find and the process of finishing it. Now, of course, some things are going to take more than a couple weeks to finish. I will continue to work on my current projects. Are those, can you call current projects not unfinished objects or not? I don't know. But um, I, in today's video, I'm going to go through and show you just a small, small scratch of the surface of my unfinished objects. At some point in this ride, we will tear something out. I can think of two, two objects right now sitting in stash, probably not this pile, that um, I'll probably just abandon and move on. And that is perfectly okay for your unfinished objects. Um, as the weeks unfold, I encourage you to crack into your unfinished object pile and have a look around and see. The easiest way to finish an unfinished object is to abort. So um, think about that when you go through your objects. All right, let's um, actually, let's start by categorizing unfinished objects because um, we could say that one stash is by itself an unfinished object. Most yarns that I buy, not all, but most, I have something in mind for. And uh, I don't always put them with that item I have in mind, and I don't always start them with the thing. I don't always continue on in that train of thought. Sometimes I switch. But um, in this instance, these are kits that I have, that I thought would be super fun to do, and then have never started. Here's the, here's the first one. Um, this is a Japanese bag right here that's Sashiko. It has all the parts, including the needle, if I remember correctly. This just takes getting out and getting done. So this is one unfinished object. <gasps> the kit. This is the category. The unstarted unfinished object. Tell me what you think below. Do you think an unfinished object it, or an unstarted unfinished object is acceptable as an unfinished object? This is another thing. I think I found this in a 60% off bin or some sale bin, but it is a quilt that has been sitting around forever. I have no idea what I plan to do with it. I kind of think that I have another unfinished object that I was going to mix with this because I have a circle quilt. Uh, it's, it's a Japanese manhole cover inspired quilt that I started ages ago, and I believe that this would look nice with it. Um, I believe it's in this stack, so let's see if we can get that out and put the two together. Uh, let me find it. I have I have stacks down here beside me. So this is the beginnings. Oh, it's got a goober on the bag of. Um, a Japanese manhole cover um, class that I took years and years ago. Here's an example of one of the covers. Now, the person who made this quilt was inspired by a trip to Japan and taking photos of manhole covers. I now, whenever I travel, the manhole covers in countries are really very often quite nice. So I always take pictures of them. But I have a personal problem with... Um, gluing down things and not sewing on them. So this is really intricate. I would almost rather embroider it or actually properly um, applique. I don't like Wonder Under glue. And I know I need to get over myself because I'd get a whole lot more done, but I have yet to be able to do that. So I believe these two kits, that's what I had in mind with this. It's amazing that I can remember it. So here is the fabric. Here are the pieces of fabric. And I do think they go quite nicely with my other fabric, which is, and I know I started one, so somewhere in a drawer somewhere is my first circle. But here is 
these greens, and there's some Japanese moss green, and um, daisies, and some bright yellow, and this. So these fabrics all, and I do think that I probably, like, not all of these were bought explicitly for the project, the dark green, but I sort of have slowly over time put them together in this very large Ziploc bag. That's another question. What do you keep your unfinished projects in? Do they just go in a drawer? Or do you put them in bags? I do. I am a fan of the Ziploc bag. I'm an even bigger fan of the project bags, so like this, with a zipper top. Uh, they cause, call them cosmetic bags sometimes. Um, and I used to sell them. We used to sell them over at um, Twisted Pico, but I don't think we have any anymore. Or do you make your own pro Do you make your own long-term storage bags? One of the reasons I like either Ziplocs or these is because you can see the project. You know, the whole out of sight, out of mind, not out of sight, not out of mind routine. All right, so that's another unfinished project that is not started but kind of started. Um, here is the next level up in that. I'm, I'm just sort of starting with the sewing ones. This, this requires a walk of shame, this one. So uh, when my oldest grandson, who will be 15 in April and is in high school, was a baby, I said, hey, to my daughter, would you like me to make him one of those covers that go in a shopping cart to sort of keep the germs away? And she goes, yeah, that'd be great, Mom. I'd love some cowboy fabric. So I cut this out. Here's the pattern. Here are in a bag from a store that I probably didn't even get the fabric from. Um, here it is, cut out, pinned, but not sewn. <laughs> yeah. So brown lining, here's the cowboy fabric. There it is, right there. Um, the good news is, is, and I may start on this one sooner than later, because I now have a grandson who is three, four months old, maybe a little older. I don't know how old he is. He may be closer to six. I don't, I'm not very good with names or ages, but I remember my grandson's name. His name is Theo. He is of an appropriate age to to make this for. And it's probably, this one I should probably get on sooner so that I don't wait another 14 years to move to the next step. So, unfinished object. Uh, this is a two-year-old unfinished object. These are squares. The first year of the pandemic, a couple of, a few friends of mine who we normally go on a retreat and sew every August for a week, um, we decided that we were going to do a virtual sewing and we, you know, got on Facebook and sewed and I wasn't very good at it because I do not do virtual very well. And um, we each made stars and then mailed them off to each other or delivered them to each other. And so I have a star from each of my friends and I need to do something with it. I do know that um, a couple of my friends have already done a little quilt table runner with theirs and I have yet to do anything. So this needs to be finished. This one may go to the bottom of the pile. Um, just because I haven't had, I don't, I'm not inspired yet for that one. That's on hold. All right, on to a knitting project. This is a mohair lace project that I had no fun with. And this one, this one's going to be ripped out. Actually, I even, look, I, I harvested the needles out of it because that's how much I didn't like it. Uh, handy tip, dental floss makes a good holder. And then when you decide you're not going to finish the project, you can just take it out and tear it out. So this one is going to be torn out, and I will save this mohair fabric, which I love them. Um, it's not mohair. It's um, angora. I will save the angora for another project later. And I don't love these mesh bags. Oh, something fell. I wonder what that was. I'm going to look down. Crochet hook. That's what hit the floor is a crochet hook. So this is, looks like two skeins of Angora. Oh, it's this yarn with sparkles and a skein of Angora. And this has been sitting around so long that it's starting to felt together. But I would rather save this maybe for a collar and cuffs 
or I don't know what, maybe a wrist. Oh, it's going to be hard to tear out. But I'm going to tear this out and save it because I don't want this cowl. It's, first of all, way small. And I'll do something else with it another day. Oh, good. I was trying to rip out the wrong end. Let's see. Oh, it was ripping quite nicely. So my first I don't want to do this tear out project will commence right now. I will have to separate these, though. That's not going to be so fun. All right. So does this mean I get a gold star because I've actually finished a project? I'm going to finish this project today because it will be torn out. Oh, man, that's a mess. Boy, Angora does not um, does not wear well in a bag. So don't throw, note to self, don't throw Angora into a bag on hold because it felt just sitting in the in the world. I did have an Angora sweater as a kid, so this does bring back fond memories, but um, not in its current form. So this one goes. All right, next project. I'm just going to leave this on my lap. Next unfinished project. This is where the hook fell from. This is a shawl I started. Um, and I'll put links to all these patterns below. This one is from Neve, and I can't remember her last name, but she's an Irish designer, and she does really interesting Tunisian crochet. Note the uh, scallops. They're very cool. And they work up really nicely at a lace weight. And I do love Teresa Rouge lace weight for uh, a good crochet project. However, um, I got bored. And I do that sometimes. And I uh, quit this project partway through. Here is, this is Tinsel, 10 to Tinsel by Teresa Rouge. I'll put a link below in from where I got it. And on a, I believe, zero hook or maybe an EF, which they're very close to the same size. This one needs to go on my short list because this is a fun one and this will be great to wear for summer. All right, unfinished project. Another one for you here. Let's see what we got in the bag. Oh, here we go. This is a very old unfinished project. Not quite as old as the shopping cart item, but this is a second sock. I don't know where the first sock is. I could. It would be good if I found that. But this is a pattern that I developed, which is a shifted ribbed stitch. And um, I never wrote it up. And I didn't ever finish the second sock. But I have gotten as far as the heel turn and picking up for the gusset. And then I stopped and put it down and have not continued. The good news is, is that... Oh, that I have the second sock started, or another second sock, and I have plenty of yarn to do the full pair. And I do love this orange yarn. In addition to that, I have a random sock in here that I know there's a pair to. So I'll have to put this in my laundry and see if I can find it upstairs. Uh, yeah, so look, I have the needles. There is no reason why we cannot carry on with this. Actually, this is a different needle. I need to put this away. I do have a place for my needles. Is this an unfinished project? Probably. If you ask Tony, who saw my Walk of Shame video a few years ago, that definitely is unfinished. All right. So, a sock. A pair of socks that needs to be finished. I'm digging. I'm looking. I don't know what that is. A bag with a needle minder. Oh, I know what this is for. This is a present that I was supposed to send off to Kelly. I'll have to send this present to Kelly. Very late, Kelly, but I found a present for you. All right. Uh, the next project is another sock. I do know where this one's from. Oh, my gosh. So two socks in the same position. I've t turned the heel. I've done the gusset. This one needs its gusset done. I've turned the heel. I'm ready to do the gusset. A pair of socks. These are out of, yeah, they're the same length. <laughs> uh, these are out of Kelly's um, A Year of Socks book. And this is January. I think it's called the Hoarfrost Sock. And this yarn is discontinued. I don't even remember which one it was. 
but if somebody really wanted this, I could probably dye this up. Um, yeah, so a pair of socks. You just need a green, sort of verdigris, coppery color. Not copper, but copper turned over time. I should finish these. I could have used these this winter when I had no heat. And look, they're even um, separated out into two skeins. I have everything I need to go. Some crochet hooks that shouldn't be in here. I'm looking to see what's in my project bag. A measuring tape. What else is in here? I know <laughs> Vogue Knitting Live, name tag. So clearly that was the last time I worked on this project. It's like a little archeological dig looking in your old unfinished projects bag. Definitely that. And then uh, I don't need that anymore. And then uh, some business cards are in here. Oh, and another crochet hook. And, oh, hmm. business card. I don't know if they're still here. That It's a lawyer's business card. Okay, unfinished object. This one, as soon as I finish the hat, this would be a good one. Either this or the orange pair would be a good one to finish. All right, and then let's move on to newer objects. This, for my on my cruise last year, we started um, a mystery. Oh, and the pattern's online, so I do not have a paper copy of the pattern. I'm looking down in here to see what I have. Um, we started a set of fingerless gloves. I want to carefully open this up so as not to... So here is not fingerless gloves. You can see him. It's a stag and a world in Norway. And this I started on the, cru the Arne and Carlos cruise we took last May. I've done one. I'm at the bind off for one. And I have to do the thumb. I got that far on the trip. And then I came home and that was the end of that. <laughs> I haven't done the second mitten. And I really should do it before we go on that trip come September. Right? David could wear them because they are quite toasty warm. So that's a project that needs to be finished. There's plenty of stuff in here to finish it. And, uh, oh, wow. Well, I have money. <laughs> well, I'm ready for my trip. Oh, I should really look that up. I think this is five bucks. I should look that up. I have tape. I have... Arne and Carlos is, oh, 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 wonder who's this, oh, I think this is my daughter's, my child's key, my child's key, I'll have to return that, another knitting needle, these are, benef it's beneficial to look in these bags, uh, transit cards, this is what you do when you live a disorganized life like I do, there, that's it. So that's what's in that unfinished project. This is a find. <laughs> Pretty happy with this. All right. Oh, and I have candy. Licorice flavored candy. Oh, it's not very good. I know which one it is. All right. So another unfinished project in the Our Name Carlos bag. Need to finish that. I'll put the money in my pocket for, for our trip when we take it. And the last project that I have for you today. Actually, go ahead and vote. Let me know which project you think I should do first. So there is a coat. When we were on the trip, I went to a fabric store in uh, Oslo, and I found this remnant of boiled wool, of felted wool, and it was really cool. And I decided that without a pattern and hand stitching, that I could stitch this up into a little jacket and um, like an un a baggy jacket. So this is one piece for the front and back. And then here are the sleeves to do here. And hopefully they will be at least elbow length. If not, I can probably find some fabric to make up the difference. And then I used a blanket stitch, this yarn that I found. Hold it. I think I found this in the same store and it matches it perfectly to do the bind to do I'm doing a blanket stitch so that you have exposed you have exposed seams and that was the goal is to have exposed seams. So that's my goal with that. 
And then, oh, there's my good crochet hooks. Oh, oh yes, I forgot. I also crocheted these to put, so I wanted to take granny squares and put them down the top of the sleeve. Let me see if I've, yeah, I haven't done the sleeves yet. So I want to take granny squares and put them down the top of the sleeves so that you have granny squares here and then probably down the front to help get um, like a lapel in the front. But that's my plan and I crocheted all of the granny squares. They're ready to go. They need to be blocked. And then I need to just stitch them in and I need to finish this project. So Tina's coat. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's a lot of stuff I haven't pulled out in a while, but that's the only unfinished project in this bag. This bag is my Arizona bag. Uh, haven't seen it since I took the trip though. This came back with me from um, Sweden or from Norway as well. All right, and I think that's all. Oh, no, there's one more project here. One more project for you. Or two, nope, just one. One more project to, for you. This I made when my um, second oldest daughter graduated from high school. Um, her son is the one that I would need to make the shopping cart <laughs> protector thingy from, fabric thingy from, for, and he is almost a year old. His older sister is in first grade. <laughs> so it's been a long time since she graduated from high school. Uh, this May, I think I still have a, an unfinished project that's older, but this may be the oldest unfinished project I have. I, rever I reserve the right to uh, change that. But this is Megan's monogram. It's M and then S. And she wanted a tattoo when she graduated from high school. So we played around with designing this and trying to figure out what would look nice on her foot. And then while I was at it, I happened to be learning the embroidery module on my computer and I mocked this up and embroidered it out for her favorite color at the time was purple. So this is what this is for. And I could make anything out of it, including a pin cushion. And I may just make her a pin cushion out of this or something. I don't know what. I'll think about that. Don't know. But I should finish it at the same time I do the shopping cart. All right. That is the first round of unfinished projects. This will be the first one finished because I'm going to tear it out. Now, if you have ideas as to what I can make with this Angora, give me a shout out. If you have a preference as to what my next project to finish should be, give me a shout out. And I will see you uh, twice a week we're going to do this. So let's go Thursday, Thursday, Monday. We're going to do this Thursday, Monday, and I'll give you updates on what I've accomplished. I will show you other in unfinished projects that um, aren't done yet. I will show you... Um, I'll, we'll talk about how to store your unfinished projects. We'll talk about how to make progress on your unfinished objects. Please, please subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're notified when a new episode gets put up. Um, like this if, <laughs> if you like unfinished objects. No. <laughs> like this if you like the idea of this channel. Um, and let me know what you think should be in this channel. This is the first video. So this really can grow based on what you guys think we need, you need to see. Definitely, I got plenty of unfinished objects to share with you. And I've got several friends with unfinished projects that I can bring on if I run out, which is going to be never. Sable. Yeah. Supply. Let's see. Oh, you might have to tell me in the, in the comments below. Supply. I know exceeds life expectancy. Exceeds life expectancy. Beyond life expectancy, BLE is beyond life expectancy. Stash, but exceeds is an E. I don't know. Tell me what Sable stands for, but it basically means I have so much crap, I will have more than I can ever get to into before I die. So uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and how to define Sable. I've forgotten. I'll probably look it up. Anyway, I will see you in a few days. Happy uh, unfinished projecting. Happy finishing. There you go. Happy finishing. Bye.